So anyway, this is part 13 of the Simone, the star series, the Simone Lachey Snell uh, life story. Um, basically, overall, um, the people could not walk in and out and still frame Simone's son to death regarding the dope game and disrespect him um, and crowd around him. They could not crowd around Simone and disrespect her, snap naked pictures of her, snap naked pictures of her son and all of our opinion. And it's nothing that the caseworker of Simone's case, um, Simone Lachey Snell's case for Department of Children and Family Services to cover that up, in my opinion. There's just nothing to cover that up in Shreveport, Louisiana, what happened to Miss Snell. Um, I think it's a sad case. Um, but I think Simone overall is still the stronger person. I just don't want Simone to think and play and take this to be a game called life. I always want her to be real about the streets. I always want her to be real about her surroundings, learning how to communicate with people. Don't never lose that about yourself because I made a lot of money off communicating with people. Learning how to deal with genres, areas, drug related territory, business minded territory. I made a killing. And regarding my first son, it was a lot of drug related activity that was going on. I was young, but I was on my own. And a lot of stuff just taught me a lot of real shit to where I made it in Bossier City, Louisiana to real big baller status. Because that's all the fuck you would ever be for Miss Snell as a genuinely, overall, good, honest, noble person. And I don't never want her to lose that about herself, learning how to meet people and make friends in not just the industry. You never know how life turns just uh, for being just life, period, learning how to roll with things, roll with the punches learning how to shake hands with the real niggas, learning about the fake niggas, learning the ins and outs, learning how to deal with other females, get her hair done, get her nails done, learning how to, to stand up for herself, learning when to sit down for herself. It's just cold coping skills, coping skills to learn as to carry through in life and transition is what I did for Simone regarding the dope game called an education that made her just the queen, in my opinion. Again, after doing the hard work, working a job, keeping it real, learning when to give up, learning when to keep on going and just rolling with the punches, putting on clothes, paying her rent, paying her bills, asking for help, being humble, being an honest person, keeping it real it's where this woman came out named Simone Lachey Snell as the greatest of all time. And that is just where it will remain. I know a lot of people may be jealous of that, how she learned how to go through the battles of smoking a joint and niggas threatening to beat her ass and p women threatening to beat her ass. But that is the champ, you know, in all of our opinion. And, you know, just another notch under her belt like a wrestler, and I think she, I think, man, this lady is just astounding for, you know, the way she does herself and, and how she, she bags up her situation, bags up her sex. It's just off the chain. And I just think overall, genuinely taking care of kids, picking up the phone, getting the education. I just think that's one of the baddest motherfuckers I ever seen to Motorola on a phone and this toxic gook called street pimps in need of this woman to jump in and out of cars and turn tricks as a scam and to know they deserve to get the brakes beat off their ass trying to talk back to her property owner to stop her from having a safe place to stay so she can get recompensated so she can get the help she need to press forward in life instead of making things a positive situation you always have negative fucking people out here bro and you know what i feel for you I feel bad for you, homie. You know what I mean? Because that's the fuck it'll be. A negative vibe for someone else. Because I'm going to always send them demonic spirits. I'm going to send that shit up the street. I'm going to send that shit packing. Because you're not being real.